the Angels and the Marlins wrapping up a three game series and for the Marlins wrapping up the first home stand of the year. AJ Puck back on the mound his second major league start as he wraps up the home stand today. Luis Renjifo digs in for the Los Angeles Angels. Luis Renjifo cracks one in the air toward right it's pretty deep Garcia is back near the wall it is off the bottom of the fence. Renjifo will hold at second base to lead off double to start the day. Mike Trout with two home runs and a stolen base in this series. As Trout breaks his bat, floats one to shallow right center field. This one might drop, and it does, a base hit. Ranjifo didn't get a good read. He could have scored because the center fielder Chisholm was so far back. He was almost to the warning track, but Ranjifo can only get one base. We'll see if the Angels can get this run home. Ranjifo at third. Ward is in a nice job of staying back and driving the ball the other way. Ward dumps it into the right field. That's a base hit. It gives the Angels an early lead. Trout motoring to third as Ranjifo scores, and Taylor Ward has an RBI to make it 1 0. He did a nice job. He almost was thinking that same way. Fastball up, didn't get the barrel on it, but strong enough to fight that in the right field for a single. Yeah, just unfortunate. Two hits in a row against Puck. Drury just three for 17 on this road trip. Bouncing ball to short. Might be tough to turn to. The Marlins get it to first. Too late. Drury beats it out and the run scores as Trout comes home. It's 2 nothing. Yeah, extremely close at first, but Drury got down the line quick enough. Pick up an RBI. Early trouble for the Marlins this afternoon. A.J. Puck has thrown 27 pitches. Sandoval who's trying to flush what happened to him in Baltimore on opening day. And Luis Arise. He's three for six in this series with three additional walks. Swing and a miss. Back the second days. straight day. Yeah, <laughs> Luis Arise strikes out to start the game. It's not unusual to see Sandoval get a strikeout on a slider or his changeup. Tons of them. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Another swing and miss on a changeup. Saw that 12 times yesterday for Tyler Anderson. Good changeup, turned it over. Punch out for Sandoval. Swing and a miss, Patrick Sandoval strikes out the side in the first. Sandoval strikes out the side, one, two, three. The inning is over. Hicks off to a little bit of a slow start at the plate. He's gone two for 15. Aaron Hicks with a liner to left. That's a base hit. The Angels have a man on against A.J. Puck in the third. Taylor Ward, who had an RBI single in the first inning. Taylor Ward lines one over third. That's a base hit. It streaks down the left field line as Hicks makes his way to third base. Taylor Ward to second. He's got two hits. This is a double. Talk about being locked in. Smile on his face. Drury reached on a fielder's choice back in the first inning. Drove in a run. Run to third. It's underneath Bruhan and down the left field line. Hicks scores. Ward around third. He comes home. Throw to second. Drury is safe. And the Angels lead 4 0. Once in a while, when you're playing good, you get some breaks, and that's a break right there. When hustling up to second base is Drury, and the lead doubles. It's now 4 0. There's going to be a challenge. I think it's going to be on the play at second base whether Drury not get there before the tag. It looked like he missed the swipe on the front end. It looked like he missed them all together, really. And the call stands as we expected. Ball four, second time that he's walked Sano. Already the eighth walk of the year for A.J. Puff. Marlins bullpen still quiet. Looks like Puck's going to have to stay out there for a while. In on the hand, slowly rolled. Anderson fields, throws to get the out. But the Angels get two more and have a 4 0 lead. So the Marlins do not have a run. They do not have a hit. And Garcia with the ground ball hit fair over the bag at first, rolling down the right field line. Avi's going to have himself a double to lead off the bottom of the third inning. And that's the first hit of the ball game for the Marlins. Hit hard off of Sandoval's foot. Renjifo grabs it, throws to first in time. Is that a kick save at a beauty? I think so. 1-5-3 on the put out at first as Garcia goes to third. The Angels will quickly get to the mound. Ron Washington. Sandoval seems to be okay. Avi Garcia is at third with one out for Nick Fortes, who's one for three with a double in this series. Bloop to right. Long way in for Aaron Hicks. He makes the catch, and they will not. Well, now they might as Hicks stumbles, and Garcia still does not try to score. Garcia wasn't going to tag because of how strong of an arm Hicks has, <laughs> and he is cracking up after having that stumble. <laughs> Doing the bat flip. <laughs> There's Luis Arise now. Two and two with two outs. Inside, look out. I think that got Arise. It got him on the hand. He actually took his hand 
off the bat. Probably softened which, the blow a little bit. Which softened the blow. So now the Marlins have runners at first and third. So here is Josh Bell. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Can he come up big for the Marlins? Line off the glove of Drury and into center field, a base hit. That'll score Avi and move a rise to third. Big hit for Bell. And the Marlins are on the board. Huge hit for Josh Bell. Looking for that first pitch fastball. They wanted it upstairs and he got it, and that's a happy dugout after that big two out knock. Now they have still guys on the corner, and Berger can really change things around here for the Marlins. Ground ball right side, nobody's home. Base hit, Berger. Arise scores. Four to two. Nice job here by Bill and Berger. Both guys taking advantage. Just another two out RBI single. Now it's four to two. Angels here in the third. Swing and a miss. Sandoval goes to the heat and strikes out De La Cruz. Miami gets two to cut the lead in half. AJ Puck's day is done. Couple of good, couple of not so good innings. So Birch Smith takes over. It's Taylor Ward to start, getting the ground ball left side. Anderson comes around it, jump throw, and a strike to first base. Who says Neto is the only good shortstop in the building? What a tremendous play from Tim Anderson for the first out here in the fifth. I like Derek Jeter used to do and throws a strike across the diamond to Bill. That is dribbled weakly towards third. Bruhan's on the run, has it, and he will not make a throw to first. I don't think he could get the ball out of the glove. And Bruhan, he's able to glove it, but not able to transfer it to make the play. Miguel Sano has a couple of walks. Drury is at first base. High fly, straight away center field, hit pretty well. Chisholm is back, he's at the wall, it's off the top of the wall. Drury had to wait to see if it would be caught. He's on his way to third. Sano gets to second, he'll hold there. A double and nearly a homer for Miguel Sano. Second and third, and now you check on Jazz out there in center. I thought he had a really nice beat on that ball. I thought he was going to make that play. He's telling everybody to stay back that he's fine. So second and third after the double, Marlins bring the infield in. Got to get this run home. You got to get those add-on runs here. Line drive, base hit. Drury scores. Sano will be held at third, and Logan Ohapi with two strikes adds to the Angel lead. It's 5 2. And that was a rocket. So Hoppy delivers. Angels add on, and now it's 5 2. Here's Joe Adele. He's 0 for 2. Runners at first and third. That's a line toward right. Garcia makes the catch. He has a pretty good arm. Heading home is Miguel Sano. The throw is up the line. Sano scores, and the Angels tack on another. Line drive, sack fly to right. And Nolan Shonowell is going to take over at first base. So Renhiflo leaves the ball game. Yeah, he looked like he went. That was a nasty sure slider. Strike three as Fortes couldn't hold a swing. Sandoval gets another strikeout. That's number six today. Swing and a miss. Arise strikes out for the second time. How often does that happen? Sandoval's fans seven through five. Kent Emanuel takes over out of the Marlins bullpen. A couple of walks. Double and a run scored for Sano. That ball's ripped. Miguel Sano's had a big day at the plate. This will be his second double in his fourth time on base. It was double-double after two walks. Ball four, so another walk. The seventh in this game for the Angels batters. Zach Neto will be the batter with the bases loaded. You know he wants to do something special. You see if he can get anything close to the strike zone on the first pitch of all his family and friends. There's a long fly ball. Left center field headed for the gap. It's deep, and it is off the wall. It will unload the bases, at least mostly, as Ohapi and Sano score. Adele was late getting off of first. But Zach Neto drives a two run double and the Angels break it open. It's eight to two. He was ready and he was successful. And the Angels lead by six. And here's Shanawell. Shanawell with a fly ball to right. Deep but not deep enough. Garcia's on the track to make the catch. It's a sack fly as Joe Adele scores. Neto goes to third. It's nine to two. First batter he faces here in the top of the eighth is Taylor Ward. There's a long fly ball off the bat of Taylor Ward straight away center field and Chisholm will watch this one fly. It is gone. A home run for Taylor Ward to straight away center field. The Angels in the outfield doing their job again today. Third home run of the season. Taylor Ward now eight RBIs. Oh, he's locked in. This has been a great road trip for Taylor Ward. Zuniga and out away from the Angels completing the sweep. And on the first pitch, Gordon grounds out. As you can say goodnight to the Marlins, the sweep is complete. The Angels win all three here in Miami. This one was a breeze, 10 to 2.